there's something written here. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. I swear they wait until I hit record to speak up. Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. We are here at the Mountain Shrine, where the absolutely incredible Sphinx is waiting for us to answer three additional riddles. Now, last time we answered two. One was the riddle of the eyes, which was actually really clever because what it really meant was, hey, if you pay attention and you just turned around, the chest with the item that she seeks is quite literally above the entrance, which is pretty funny. And then the other one was the uh, that which I value most on my person. I gave a seeker's token simply because I didn't want to give that up. Out of everything I had, that is the one thing I didn't want to offer, but we gave her one and that counted. So we've gotten a Rift Stone. Oh no, excuse me. We got a Wake Stone and we got the Seeker's Token actually back, which is really nice. But now we have three more additional riddles. One, we need to look for the Sphinx Parent. Then we need to bring who I love the most and I need to find the place where I found our very first Seeker's Token. I have the solutions for all three of those. First, the person that I love the most I thought was going to be based on my beloved who I have been giving gifts to, but I really haven't been giving anyone. But then, and yes, I did get some hints in the Discord. I'll just be completely honest. Silverius is the person that I care about most in this game. I've said multiple times he is the main character in this. So I could actually just bring him and that should count. The Seeker's token I found in Melv on top of a tower early on. I actually went back and watched some of my old videos. It was in episode two where I found the very first one. And then the Sphinx parent, again, Discord gave me some hints and they said Riftstone. And I can actually recall at one point I was looking at pawns in the Riftstone and there was one by the name of Sphinx parent, believe it or not. So I believe I just need to get that pawn and bring them into my, uh, my service. Griffin, what are you doing? And that should suffice. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to use a fairy stone to head to Vernworth and begin. Actually, what manner of madness is this? I'm here. I might as well turn this one in, right? Sorry, Silverius, but I care about you. Okay, now. Oh, I know precisely. Sorry, Silverius. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to. How do I make it so it's the Sphinx? I don't want you. Can I? Can I move you over just a just a touch? There we go. Come to test your wits. And that was the riddle of. Was it madness? Love is as twin to madness. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Believe it or not, it is. She seems pleased. Well, well. Very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. Oh, could you actually bring more than one? A promise made. A promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Oh. Something good, please. Silverius, why is that surprising? I care about you. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Excellent. You know what? We might actually plunk this down in Melv whenever we get there. But for now, we're going to be using a fairy stone. And we're heading to Vernworth. So, wow, we have... This is our fifth port crystal, I believe, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty generous. I think we still have one in storage. So while we're in Vernworth, we're going to do a couple of quick things. Well Where to next? So the first thing is I actually want to go and check out the vocation guild. 
What am I doing? It's like I've never been here before. Vocation Guild is down here. We'll actually turn in all of our Seekers tokens as well as get some more skills. Have you found any of the items? Uh, only ten. Oh, five more for the Ring of Profusion. We're getting there. Augment, Enlightenment. You have a chance of creating one or more of the resulting product when combining materials. That's actually pretty cool. What do we want to put that on to? Increases max stamina. Augment, probably augment strength. I don't remember what strength does for... For this vocation. I'll have to look that up again and just say trailing aroma extends the distance that a simulacrum created with effigial incense can venture from the caster. Oh, I love that. I love that. So it doesn't uh, dissipate quite as quickly. So sweeping shroud becomes suffocating shroud. Diffuse smoke over a wider area more effectively draws targets attention. Yes. Elusive divider. Extends the effects duration allows up to two walls to be conjured simultaneously. I mean, I might as well. Aromatic Rally, Aromatic Resurgence. Longer lasting effect and further enhances offensive capabilities. And then we have two more. Espial Incense. Detaches Caster's Spirit from their physical form by inhaling a peculiar incense. Spirits can be controlled and used to scout distant places undetected. What? I mean, that's really cool. I don't know that I need that. I mean, I'll buy it, but I'm not so sure that I, I want it. But what's Fickle Floor? Conjures an illusory platform that can be set in places without foothold, such as mid-air. <gasps> can be used to entice hostile targets to an unexpected fall? Wait, what? Get out of here. <laughs> how did... But how did you set the simulacrum out there? I guess I'll try Fickle Floor just because it sounds really, really funny. Huh. Alright. But at any rate, we've done that. Next, I'm going to do some inventory management because we are vastly uh, encumbered. So I will go ahead and pause and be back once I'm a little bit lighter on my feet. Okay, that should be good. Next, I have a few Jaspers on me. Oh, no. Onyx? I think I have Onyx, which sells best in Vermund, so I'm going to go ahead and sell those. 9600, perfect. I'm also going to... Sorry, I want to enhance... Where is Silverius? Apparently too far away. Come over here, friends. Come over here, please. There we go. I want to try and improve his Cyclops helmet to see if it's worth wearing. So that would go up to defense of 438. This would go up to 4... Excuse me. 403. It's not going up very much, is it? So what kind of defense does this have? Fire and catching fire. No elemental resistance here. Oh, it's pretty massive difference, but it looks so cool. Let, let's see if we can just bump it up all the way. Misshape and I. Rugged Bone and Gold Ore for 1800 Done. I understand it's not going to be great. It's still not going to be as good, but we're going to go with it anyway. I probably should be upgrading those, but not too concerned. Yeah, I, I just want to see him in a new a new helm, because I think this this one is really cool, Persecutor Swarns. But I just think that is... It doesn't quite work as nicely with what he has currently, but I wonder if I gave him a new cape, if that would work. Right, okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we are going to stop by the Pawn Guild. Actually, first things first. We have a lot of Rift Crystals. Let me see what you have again. Go on, have okay, all of your different Rift Incenses, Art of Metamorphosis. You do have... So... Oh, do I want glasses? 
At first I was thinking I was going to give glasses to like Silverius or something, but maybe I want them. I kind of like the nose pinchers. Actually, I, no, I don't. I don't want sunglasses. I like the nose pinchers, but I also want them to have the arms on them. And a monocle just looks silly. I don't know. Maybe we will do it. Let's do it. Let's do the nose pinchers. There we go. Look. Pleasure doing business. How do we look? Uh, you know what? I like them. I do. I like them. So next, apparently we're looking for a pawn that belongs to the Sphinx. Now, uh, how this works is kind of beyond me. I don't know if we have to actually search for it. If it looks main pawn, I keep seeing main pawn, which is interesting. Is that? Leave the finding of equipment in oh, materials. To okay. Master. So that is not an official one. I guess people are just naming it main pawn. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything jump out. But would I have to search? See, this is what I'm just not sure about. Uh, what about unique pawns? Official pawns, is this... I know that most of these official pawns, I think, are just... Kind of famous creator's pawns. Oh, look, there's Asmongold. Okay. M. Bison. Just taking a quick look. Asmongold again. Are they repeating? Or are they just different levels? I'm not sure. And how many is, are you going to show me? Another Asmongold. They seem to be repeating. Okay. So let's try unique pawns. No, we've already done that. Distinctive upper half. Ooh, special monikers, maybe? Let's see if that would uh, find anyone. Maybe we'd get a special moniker as a, a Sphinx pawn. Sphinx mother. I happen to understand Elvish, master. I expect you'll find my talents useful should we encounter another speaker. Mm, skeptical, because it's... I would expect that the one I'd have to find would be an official, like, Capcom pawn. This one is not. This is this is Choco. But this tells me I'm kind of on the right... Oh, Sphinx Parent. Even has the the cool helm. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. But this is Wenver. Is my specialty. I wish I could see their moniker, but it doesn't seem like you can. That's just the name. Oh, here's another Sphinx mother. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to. Oh, see, I don't know. Another Sphinx parent. I'm attentive and loyal and prefer to I don't I don't buy these. I think people are trying to trick you. Another Sphinx mother. Artoria, hey. I have an Artorias at home. Main pawn. Sphinx mother. Cheapers are so many. How am I gonna do this? Search by pawn ID is not gonna work. Pawns in the rift. Oh, I guess this would be the easiest way to do it, huh? But if I search for a pawn. You have often given rating. That's pretty cool. Particular race. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try the distinctive upper half. I don't know why. 
But maybe if they have like a, I don't know, the head of a sphinx? Apollo Creed, what a great name. Lil Killa, I think that's fun. Uh, okay, let me play around with this, see if I can't get one to appear. Because I think I'm on the right track with the Sphinx Pawn or Sphinx Mother, Sphinx Father, Sphinx Parent, but it, it's got to be an official Capcom one, right? I would imagine. This took way too long. I tried everything I could think of. Eventually what worked is I kept doing the linked rift stones, which was the rift stone of the fellowship, which is the special monikers. And I would just check the pawns in the rift looking for a Capcom user ID, but turns out they're just blank. But I found this one, Sphinx parent, Capcom is the creator. You're coming with me. And, um, Oh boy. Raphael? Or Wesker? I'm going to get rid of Wesker. I'm going to get rid of Wesker. And the reason is he needs more ratings. And Wesker has been phenomenal. So I'm going to send you away with what do you want something something pretty good yeah I'm not giving you an elite camp i'm not giving you a port crystal no offense should i give you a fairy stone we'll give you fairy stone i happen to have three on me and it's real it's not fake i dare say wesker you I are phenomenal to meet you especially there we go so next we're gonna have to hop on board an ox cart to head to Melv. Now, taking a look here, this should be this one right here, the West Vernworth Ox Station. Rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and Okay, others. am I in time? Symptoms include an unruly attitude and this ox heart's bound for the check oh shoot no not take you anywhere till I've had my never mind I don't want to go to the checkpoint rest town so I guess it's actually the north ox station and that makes sense because we got to go to Melv. While we're in Melv, depending on how much time has elapsed, I I want to look for Ulrika. I was actually watching a friend of mine, The Preacher Plays. You should check him out and throw him a subscription. A new YouTube partner. Very, very happy for him. But I was watching one of his early videos, and I saw him talk to Ulrika, who's the one who cared for us after the dragon attack. And I kind of forgot all about her. This ox cart's bound for I'll need to and I don't know what's anyone. ever become of her. So we might go and look for her after we go and we uh, find the location of our very first Seeker's token. And then that should be these Sphinx riddles. And hopefully we don't have to fight the Sphinx after this. A completely unremarkable trip. How nice is that? Okay, Melv. So we're going to be heading, you know, away from these terrible areas. You're just kind of standing around. Anything to say? No, definitely not. Although it would be cool if we could actually help to rebuild. So that tower right there, that is where we found our very first Seeker's Token. And I have to say, it very much pays to have all of your exploits <laughs> recorded. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? So very excited. Oh, it's actually chiming. I wonder if there's a new token that I have to pick up. Think of it. It was here in Mel where we first encountered Sir Ulrika. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Few places have left so deep oh, we got a finder's token. Oh, how funny. So the finder's token, that's the unique item that I would then give to the Sphinx. I'm just curious because my thing is still chiming. Uh, what does it actually say, though? If 
found in the place where you first obtained a Seeker's token. Oh, how fun is that? Well, look at all that Harspud, by the way. Now, which one was Ulrika's house? Oh, <laughs> the one that I am uh, kind of on top of right now. Let's see if she's still around. That chime is actually getting louder. Because there's going to be a Wakestone chart in here. There we go. And it's still chiming ever so slightly. Oh, not now. But uh, Ulrika doesn't seem to be here. What about Leonard? Is Leonard here? You a traveler? Well, I'll not. What I can do for you? Nope, nothing. So where was Leonard then? Leonard used to be in the Vocation Guild, right? Hmm. I feel like I'm missing some NPCs. Unless was this Leonard's house? Doesn't matter if it was, because he's not here. What harm could there be in having a peek? Yeah, that was just Leonard's house, wasn't it? This one right here. Uh, is that a shadow, or is that just an artifact of someone kind of passing through? I'm not sure. So, we have the solution, I believe, for the next two riddles. So I guess that means it's time we head back. Mountain Shrine. So glad we have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We were going to throw down a port crystal here, right? Does that make sense? No, we need to put one in Bakbatal. That's what we need to do, because Melv... I can take an ox cart pretty easily from Vernworth Castle. I mean, I could, in theory, do the same from the checkpoint in Rest Town. I think Bakwatal is probably one I'll be visiting more often at this point. So yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna use Fairy Stone to head back to the Mountain Shrine. Here we are, in the blink of an eye. Now, some of you may be disappointed that I was getting hints. Oh, I'll probably need to pick up Sphinx Parent. That I was getting hints from people in the Discord. I gave it a lot of thought, and I realized that if you really do only get one chance to solve these riddles, which I, I believe that is the case, some of these I just wouldn't get. I just would not be able to, to figure out, and I'd rather not miss out if I can help it. No one told me outright, but... How do I? Oh, it's so specific. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child. Okay. I, am a lost child. I believe I have this answered. And look, she even says, "Bring my parent." And you claim this to be the parent I seek. I. The name is a giveaway. Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. I will do that. Thank you very much, Sphinx. A resounding success. Come on, something cool. 1200 Rift Crystals, okay. And last but not least... Come to test your wits. The Riddle of Rumination, Episode 2 of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. was it that you are? I see I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant job. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chest. Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. 
Perhaps you expected more. But I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth, all is in flux. And so, the time has come for me to fly. If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. And I know where that is because the frontier shrine is pretty much this exact same setup and i found that way before i found the mountain shrine but for now i bid you farewell dogged adventurer <laughs> like oh she took that big chest with her how stinking cool though And three new fairy stones. So should we go right there? Should we go right there? Here. Perhaps we'd best move along before and should we pick this up? Or do we want to leave it? Let's take a look at where that frontier shrine was. Uh, we marked it, right? Yeah, there it is. So, what is the easiest way? I'm guessing from the checkpoint rest town. Oh, that's quite the run, though. It's quite the run. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So, really fast travel heavy episode. But let's move on to the next set of riddles. Oh, I love having this many. So we're going to be going to the checkpoint rest town. Is there anything else we need to do here while we're at it? Ooh. I'm just trying to think of other quests we have. We could do the phantom ox cart. That brings us here anyway. No. Right now, it's all about the Sphinx. Uh, speak. It's chiming. Why is it chiming here? Oh. Nope. It was this way some somewhere. That chime. Actually, in my headphones, I feel like I can hear it a certain direction. Oh, and it's just about gone there. Well, there's a chest, but it's not blinking. I actually tried fish is great. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Is it maybe on an archway somewhere? Oh, how? I see it, but how do I get that? Okay, I think I see. I'm going to use this wall to, to do not that. Try again. I'm going to use this wall. There we go. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places. Well, hopefully I can help some other people find a lot of these Seekers tokens. But also, what I was going to say was uh, Mirrodin was here, and we got... Maelstrom. I don't know why I can't... You, is it because I've never been a mage? Or a sorcerer, for that matter? Maybe you have to unlock it first. I'll have to remember to tell my own I'm not this. entirely sure. Alright. It's blinking again, or it's dinging again. It's faint. Very faint. A little bit louder up here, so maybe it's actually up on that rampart somewhere. 
didn't make it. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Oh, I do see a treasure chest up there. You're right. Okay, so how do we get that? Oh, maybe by jumping up here? Then carefully jumping... Can I walk on this roof? Uh, almost. I might have to just run and jump over it. I don't know if that'll work. No. Alright, never mind. Just go in this building then. And just travel upstairs if at all possible. No stairs that go up. Okay. Well, hold on. How do I get into this upper part of the building? Oh, duh. I see the stairs. Wait. It's up higher? Oh, more stairs. Okay, good. But this isn't it, though. There is a chest, but this is not what's stinging. Oh, another smoke beacon. Big jump. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna bother me. But I guess that's what this augment's meant to do, huh? Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, originally. I know, but let's see if we can't go find this real quick. And then we're gonna rest, then we're gonna go look for the Frontier Shrine. Oh, it's getting louder. Oh, I think it's over on this tower right here. Or in the further one? Or maybe down below here? It sounds like it's right at my feet. Oh. But, three chests over on this one. Now there's a worthy prize. If only twan't so far. What do we got? Ooh. Nice uh, elemental arrows. Stoutness extract is always nice, and... Silverius Draft, sure! Oh, there it is. Oh my. How do you get that? I'm guessing you need to have Levitate. Because I don't even think with a good running jump I can get that. Alright, so disregard that one for now. Let's go rest. Right? Um... Can you even jump up there? I don't think you can get up there. So, disregard. Disregard. We're not gonna find all 220 in this playthrough anyway. Certainly not. I've not trained for this. Reckon your trade towns can make you right sick of okay. the crowds. But nice, cheap place to live. Don't live, sleep. Let's see if Silverius comes back with any goodies. Indeed he does. Let's see, how many rough crystals? Another 300, thank you. So, oh, one more for the ogre. Someone gave me a fairy stone and a tiger's eye? Wow. So... Marvarella, thank you for the fairy stone. Awasha again with the tiger's eye and Anne with the green warish. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and do one more for Ogre. 10,000. First person. 
I'm assuming that only the first person gets it, right? Tis a relief to be there you go. I have a feeling fortune shall favor us this day. Excuse, excuse me, friend. Go, then. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vim, vim and vigor. All right, let's run. We got uh, we got a job to do. I gotta go find find. I gotta go find the Sphinx again. Creature's corpse will serve us Don't well. jump too much, Blue. Strike You'll get hurt. Let's the beast flee. This was uh this was pretty challenging running through here the first time I did. Hopefully a little bit less so now. I imagine everything's respawned because it's been quite a bit. And we oh we did have to fight both a chimera and an ogre before so that'll be interesting if we have to do that again especially because oh i have Ooh, my pawn selection is not great i didn't even think about that oh criminy nope nope we're just gonna run we're just gonna run we're just gonna run everyone run everyone run everyone run No time to stop and dawdle. I'm implementing a new no dawdle rule. I went too far. Rattlers are upon us. Yeah, we and I missed the I missed the path. Oh my gosh! Back, 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 back. Excuse me, Mr. Rattler, sir. I'm just gonna keep telling my pawns to come. I hope you weren't expecting to fight. Oh, that pawn just... Ooh, that was not good. That was not pretty. Follow, follow, follow. Tell you what, I'm going to create a simulacrum just to maybe throw them off. I'm just going to keep kind of putting them, putting them behind us. Unbelievable. I know, I know. You want to stay and fight, Silverius. It's kind of what you do. We can fight some wolves if you want. Oh wait, Sphinx Parent is a warrior. Oh, I was wait. Never mind. This will be fine. Oh, this will be fun even. get up there where that statue is? Did I even know there was a statue there? Oh, I did because there, uh, there was a treasure chest. Beautiful. Alright, let's go. Oh, we prevailed by the skin of our teeth. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that... I'm just curious where this chime is coming from. Uh, quick look over the edge, just to see. They know that there's a campfire down there. That's gotta be down there. I'm not going for it. Alright, everyone, let's go. Now, this is where we fought a whole bunch of baddies. Looks like, oh, hey. Nice, easy, quick find. This is going to be a Wakestone Shard. There are one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. Uh, before you do that, we are already at the path for the Frontier Shrine. In fact, was that Sphinx parent tell me about that? Because that's, that's pretty funny if so. Oh, wow. I totally missed this, didn't I? Hey, there she is. Fan. 
Fantastic. All right, Sphinx. We're back. Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather engrossed. Apologies, Master, but you will have to make do without us. I know. Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many riddles have you solved thus far? My memory fails me, you see. Remind me, and make it plain. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. Uh... It better have been five. I don't... Is this a trick question? I didn't have to answer anything other than those five, right? Sorry, I want to I make this nice and neat for you. Can I... If I pick this up, will it... Nope, it's now just... It's now just laying down. I really like how she watches you. What if it's six because this is a riddle? She said answer plainly, so I'm going to answer plainly. Let yonder statue oh, crud. Be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. You may hear my riddles as oft as you please. The only reason I said no is because this one fell off, so I wasn't sure if it has to be up on this pedestal to count. So I'm going to try and do that now. Let yonder statues be your means. This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? Yes. Oh, she did a... That's quite she did a different look. Is that bad? Okay, now she's doing the sideways glance. What? No! No, 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 no. concern myself with you no longer wait what I fear you've not more to offer mayhap my next challenger will prove a worthier wit till such a one should come here I shall slumber I failed is it because that one is it because that one Was it a trick? Is that really it? Oh. I'm really starting to think it's because that one's floating. So you're telling me all of these treasures will forever remain unopened. Stupid riddles. After all of that. Uh, how many did I answer? Seekers. I opened five chests, right? So there was the Seekers token, my beloved, the Sphinx parent, that which I value most, and using my eyes. I did five. But I think because that one's floating... I don't know. Or maybe there's 
Maybe there was another riddle that I'm forgetting. Oh, that absolutely breaks my heart. If that's if that's truly my we only chance to handle that, I'm going to be very uh very disappointed. But we got to move on. We got to move on. Let's see. Okay, we need to go to Bakwatal to find Sarah. Let's talk about Scale Cinder. We need to do the Phantom Ox Cart, which I'd like to just get that done with. This is the main quest, so we're going to still hold off on that. I need to get Poisoned by an Asp. I need to kill a Medusa and Volcanic Island. Let's do. Let's go ahead and do the Phantom Ox Cart. Oh, so disappointing. Can I use a Fairy Stone while they're down? Will that work? Yeah, it will. See you later, Sphinx Parent. Well, yell at me in the comments well what I goofed on. That is uh, disappointing. I'm going to grab a new, a new pawn. We'll get another mage going. Look, master. Goblins. G what? Goblins? Hold on. Oh, sure enough. Look at that. Let's help the town folk. Okay, good. Help those out. Here's another one. You'll make quick work of that. Sure. Put your weapons away. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new pawn. Okay, what do we want? Uh, we'll do only up to level 44, which is what I'm at. I'm gonna do a mage. That's not. I'm sure we'll come back to this. Eventually. You know what I want to do? No. I actually want to do something different. I want to hire a friend's pawn. So who do we have? We have Cecilia's level 27. Alita's level 52. Hmm. Pretty good ratings, too. Regis is 21. Sheba's 48. This is Akan 9. Matt's up. You know, Matt, we're going to grab yours. We're going to grab yours, Matt. A little bit higher level. But it'll be free because that's how it works if you're friends with the person. I pray my efforts aid your cause. Defeat a chimera for 10,000 gold. Whoa. And you are a max mage. That is phenomenal. Are you fit to travel? Yeah, you're coming with us. And we'll leave the rift. Okay, so next up, we need to sleep until nightfall. And here's what we're going to do. I am going to, just because we've done this a couple times before, I will sleep in my house. And then I will meet you when I start following the Phantom Ox card yet again. That's the plan. Okay, so this is interesting. I actually ran to where... I thought I had to start over. I'm at the intersection where the Phantom Ox cart begins. But it's not here and there's no map marker. I then looked at the checkpoint Rest Town where I followed it before. There's no map marker. But there is a map marker down south of Bakbatal. So I, I guess that's where we need to head now. So, sure. Why not? I guess we're going to be... Heading to the checkpoint rest town again. Yeah, using another fairy stone because I just can't be asked to uh, to run that far anymore. So, Varys, can you just take care of that for us? Oh, you're so slow. Not well. Never mind. We got it. There's our vacation rank, so we can check and see what new skills we get. But for now, goodness gracious, so many fairy stones being used. Our destination is rather distant. 
<sighs> yeah, we will, but first, let's go check out the vocation guild now that we have another rank. Welcome, sir. After all, it is folly to Do I have another seeker's token? We have one. <laughs> Any progress? All right, new augment for fugacity. Decreases the likelihood of being beset by hostile targets while camping or riding in an ox cart. Uh, I'm not going to equip that. I have never been ambushed at a camp, and uh, ox carts is fine. But uh, Espial Incense becomes Visitant Aura. An advanced form of Espial Incense that consumes less stamina while in use. Might as well. Uh, just kidding, I'm not going to do that. I haven't even tried Fickle Floor. Latching Effigy. Launches a simulacrum conjure with Effigial Incense toward a distant target and possess it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. In fact, we'll use that over the Fickle Floor. That sounds awesome. Do come again. That actually sounds like it's very, very useful. And now we have to rest yet again because ox carts only travel during the day. Unless you're a phantom ox cart, which we've been chasing now for hours. Sorry, the Sphinx thing has got me... Uh, Pretty disappointed. Reckon your road trade town. Now, if it's something that I'm just missing, like was there a really obvious question she asked me at first, and that's what counted, or was I supposed to count that riddle as a solved riddle, and in that case, it should have been six? Maybe that's the case. Well, we get some rest then. Maybe that's the case. Hmm. Good morrow, everyone. All right, let's go run up the rampart here. We have a port crystal with us. That way we can finally throw one down in Bak Batal. But I guess it's time to get back to some quests, yeah? I know where that one chime is. I just don't know how to get it without levitation. Unless... Unless, hold the phone. Okay. Maybe I don't need it. This... Might there be ought over there? Uh, yeah, but can I... Can I get up over there? Careful, holy cow. Oh, wow, you can... Go pretty far over here, huh? I think I can make that jump. In fact, that looks pretty easy. Mm hmm. So, uh, maybe give that a little bit more oomph, huh? There we go. Hey! We don't need no stinking levitate. A splendid discovery. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Raphael, I have a feeling you're going to have a lot to tell your master when we're done. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? Yeah, I'm a resident. Now, let's see how, uh, how much I'm going to regret not taking that augment to be not ambushed on an ox cart. Oh no, you guys are walking. Sorry. No room. This is a long load. And there it is. <laughs> All right, what do we need to do? Here, We're going to do Latching Effigy. Did I get him? I will protect you. Oh, I, need a, I think I need to cast a Simulacrum. And then... It worked! That is so cool. It's an interesting vocation. Honestly, I kind of want to see it to the end. Why am I being targeted? And I feel like that's not my first time being torched. 
All right, Severius, can you just climb up there, please? And now we got skeletons behind us. All right, here we go. Go ahead and cast my Simulacrum over there. <laughs> I got that kill. That was mine. Together we are indomitable. And we're going back on. Our combined might is beyond any. I could probably do a whole playthrough with the trickster vocation, to be honest. Obviously, you don't get it till a little bit later. Okay. So, really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to tell my pawns to wait. Well, actually, no. Get a little closer. I'm going to go see if there's an Asp again. So I can just go get Poison just to get rid of that one. We got just a few minutes left before we got to wrap up here. But if I have you wait here... It's been several days, so I would imagine... Scrap iron? Yeah. I imagine they have respawned, right? Over by this bridge. Yes, yes, you have. Beautiful. Hey, you stupid asps. Poison me. Okay, you got your snarling out of the way. Come on now. Spit, spit, spit. Not poisoned. Not poisoned. Poisoned! Poisoned! Poisoned really badly! Get up the rocks, Blue! Julie, whoever you are. Okay, now. <laughs> Let's put on that... That quest. They're nice and close, yeah? He's going to have me do all sorts of stupid stuff, isn't he, though? Now, do not heal me. I mean, it is truly imperative that you don't. Oh, but where is he? Got a good view of the oh, shoot, is he down below? Mayhap I'll spot something of interest. Don't heal me, don't heal me, don't heal me, don't heal me. Oh, there we go. Oh, marvelous! Oh, I can see the ass venom is hard at work in your veins. Come, allow me a closer look. Let's see it. Pupils dilated, tongue swollen, and that's to say nothing of what's going on in your internal organs. So much to study. Splendid! I dare say I've learned all I can. I am in your debt, my friend. In truth, I did not expect you would oblige me. I have put this task to many, yet you are the first to follow through. I gotta hope he at least heals me, right? When at last my research bears fruit, I will have you to thank. Now, on to your next task. I would have mm. you subject yourself to the venom of the venom harpy. These magnificent creatures hunt in flocks, bombarding their prey from on high with a noxious onslaught. Hurry along and return only once you are afflicted. Oh, I can hardly wait. Now, these are close as well. These are also close, so that's not a big deal. Do I get a prize for this? No? Oh, you better have something good at the end of this. All right. Well, we're here in Bakbatal. I can go get poisoned by harpies just by taking this one rope cart a little bit. I got attacked just going from here to there, so that won't be too bad. We also have Sarah, and we have the Phantom Ox cart. We have a load of things to do. Why are there three map markers here, though? I guess it's just showing me different areas where I could get envenomated by one. But 
all that's going to have to wait. So next time we'll spend some time in and around Bach Batal completing some of these minor quests. Hopefully you all are done yelling at me about the Sphinx in the comments. If not, keep going because I can take it. Albeit, I am a little bit sad as to how it transpired. But that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon Song with 2. I do hope you're still enjoying. And I will see you next time.